horses. You've seen them in the new trailer, they look awesome, but how did they come to be? Well, DICE has released some more information on how horses work in Battlefield 1, and you better get your notebooks out, people, because there's more to horses than meets the eye. DICE have designed the horses to allow players to get some proper power in their close quarters engagements, but at the same time, they're adding a whole new element to the battles that you'll be having. They're faster than a sprinting player, that means that you can catch up to those enemies that are off in the distance, but you'll have the chance to either trample them or slash them with your outstretched saber. Although not as powerful as a tank, they do offer the ability in a larger form to be more agile, and therefore you can literally run rings around the heavier vehicles in this game. But because you're a much bigger target now, you're riding a horse after all, you need to play carefully to avoid being taken out. A horse in Battlefield 1 has more health than a soldier, but the two bodies are completely separate, a little bit like motorbikes. They can be killed off the top of the horse, but the horse might survive. The soldier you play as when riding the horse will be very similar to how the pilots and tanker classes work in Battlefield 1. If you spawn onto a horse directly from the loadout screen, you'll spawn with a specific set of weaponry, and that's curated to help you fight effectively with your horse. As mentioned, you'll have access to the saber as a melee weapon, a rifle for longer distance shooting, something for the mid to long range targets, and you'll be given the chance to run with grenades as well, like the anti-tank ones that we saw in the recent trailer. If you happen to come across a horse, whilst you're out on the map, getting on it won't change your loadout. You'll keep the same weapons and equipment that you spawned in with, although that might not be the most effective weaponry that you'll have when riding them. Beyond the attacking capabilities of the horse, DICE have added some features that will give something back to your team as well. A feature you might remember from Battlefield Hardline is the ability to take ammunition or health off of friendly operators and support players. Well, the horses in Battlefield 1 will act in a very similar way. They will act as sort of a mobile support station, dropping ammunition and bandages out of the saddlebags, and that means people can keep their ammunition topped up and their wounds healing, allowing them to stay alive fighting while you go off cantering towards the next tank. And of course, the horse is a living animal, and in the face of gunfire, explosions, and all-out war, you'd expect it to perhaps act naturally and try and resist a little bit of what the rider is asking it to do. Here in Battlefield 1, DICE has put a lot of extra work to try and ensure that riding a horse feels as natural as possible. You can move through shallow waters, but you can't outright force it to go into the sea and ask it to swim with you on its back. If you point it at an obstacle, the horse will do its best to try and dodge it or maybe even jump over it for you. They've done their best to try and differentiate it from the other vehicles in the game, its closest rival being the motorbike. DICE are saying you are going to notice a big difference, but I guess only time will tell. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you like these short information videos. I'm doing my best to keep you up to date and in the loop with Battlefield 1, and the support recently on the channel has been awesome, so thank you so very much for that. It does mean a lot to me. Let me know some of your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the horses. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.